paying twenty thousand dollars upfront for solar or going into a solar lease and paying 150 bucks a month wondering which one's the right choice for you when it comes to rooftop solar panels you've got three choices purchase cash purchase loan or a solar lease or ppa stick around to find out how much you can save with each option one purchasing with cash now in this option you own the panels and you pay upfront with a cash or check or you, you get your own financing from your own bank option two is you purchase but you take a loan from the solar company from whom you're buying those panels usually these loans are 15 to 25 year loan option three is leasing or ppa power purchase agreement basically more or less the same you don't own the panels instead you pay a monthly fee or rent for solar electricity now regardless of the option going solar will drastically reduce your electric bill to less than ten dollars a month in most u.s states however few states like california achieving such low bills will require pairing your solar panels with a battery for residential customers those opting for solar lease or solar ppa or purchase or a loan they can enjoy significant savings they'll see their utility bills drop from hundreds to nearly zero let's look at somebody who has an average electricity bill every month of about $200. Once they go solar, in most states, their electric bill will go down to something like three or four bucks a month. It's not true in California and a few other states, but in 90% of the states, it'll be at below 10 bucks. Now, assuming that the electric bills go up with inflation, you're looking at paying about 2,451 bucks in the first year for electricity. In five years, that number will go up to 12,891. And before you know it, in 20 years, you are going to be spending 62,707 bucks on your electric bill. Most of us don't realize how much of our income we actually spend on electric. Let's explore how much you can save by purchasing your solar panels, either with a loan or by paying upfront with cash or by a check. Now, every solar panel purchaser qualifies for a 30% discount on their system price through a federal tax credit. This credit applies to all income levels, whether you're a millionaire or you're an average Joe. Here's how it works. Let's say your solar system costs $20,000. Now, with a 30% tax credit, you'll get back $6,000 as a tax refund when you file your federal income tax. Everybody gets this refund. But you need to owe Uncle Sam more than 6000 in taxes. If you owe less, you can spread the tax credit over several years, up to 10 in fact. So for those purchasing solar with a loan or cash, not only do you enjoy close to zero electric bills, but you also get the 30% tax credit. Plus, many states offer additional incentives, such as state tax credits, grants, or fixed payments based on your solar energy production. These are known as SREX or Solar Renewable Energy Credits. Let's look at a cash purchase of solar. And we look at the same homeowner who's got an average electric bill of about 200 a month. So that he's currently spending about 2451 every year on electric. Let's see what happens when he goes solar. So he makes an initial investment when he buys solar of about 25,000 bucks. He gets back 7,500 as the tax credit. He has savings, his electric bills go down from 2,451. For calculation purposes, I made it zero. So his net investment in the first year is 15,049. And that's the first red bar that you see here. Now, every year, he will continue to save money on electricity. 2451 the first year, a little more the next year. And so as you can see, the red bars, as time goes by, they continue to wither away. And in most states in the US, between the sixth and the seventh year, the savings from electricity will pay back that initial 15,000 bucks investment. After the seventh year, the savings start going into your own pocket. You're going to see 
money flowing into your pocket from solar and by the time you end 20 years you will have saved 45207 bucks contrast this with not doing solar and continuing to pay you would have paid 62707 bucks if you bought the system by paying cash you are in the green and you have 45,000 bucks to spend on other things in 20 years. Typically, solar lease and PPA customers can expect to save between 30 to 50% on total electric costs right from the get go. However, you have to be cautious. There are some shady salespeople out there who might promise savings that never materialize. And po poorly structured leases or PPAs could end up being a financial disaster in the long run. Let's look at a well-structured solar PPA or a lease and how the figures could work. To understand the savings when you choose to go with a solar lease with a $150 payment, let's look at our electric payments again. Since we're paying about 200 bucks a month right now, in the first year, we'll spend about 2,400 bucks on electricity and that goes up with inflation and by the time we are 20 years down the road, we've spent 62707. With the lease, the first year, your lease is going to save you about 50 bucks a month. So that's about 600 bucks for the first year. And slowly, these savings are going to grow because your lease payments stay the same, but your savings, which is your avoided cost of electricity, keeps going up. And over the 20 year frame, you will end up saving. $26,707 if you go the fixed solar lease route. That is a huge chunk of money. And here is a badly structured PPR lease that will end up costing you thousands instead of saving you big bucks. Unfortunately, I see a lot of folks get snared into these kind of deals. Now, a bad lease has got two characteristics. Number one, it's usually escalating. That means your payments go up every year by 3% or 4%. The other thing which you may not even know of is that the solar salesperson could downsize your system. That if you actually needed 20 panels, he might give you 15 panels in an effort to give you a low electric bill. These kind of solar leases, they start showing savings initially, but by the year 10th or so, your savings diminish. And from the 11th year onwards, you could actually start to lose money. A solar loan is very similar today to a solar lease. Solar loans have fixed monthly payments. However, because interest rates are so high, usually the monthly payments of your loan are larger than the monthly payments for your lease. For example, if you look at the same system, the monthly payments could actually be about 2000 bucks a year compared to the 1800 bucks a year for the lease. As a result, your savings from your loan would be lower at 21,907 after 20 years. So the savings from the lease, 26,707. Compared to cash, 45,207. Savings from your loan, would be lower at 21,907 after 20 years. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you're considering solar, I'm here to assist you. Reach out to me at john at mysolarhome.us or call 609-908-3700. Thank you and have a great day.